Welcome to the Better Ref series. The aim of the series is to increase the understanding of referees at all standards. We show you general play at the start just so you can understand player capability. You need to understand just how fast players are and their ability to retrieve shots. So here's the rally with the ref call coming up. So you should have made a decision by now because you really only get about three seconds to make your call. We'll go back and tell you what the correct decision is. So as we pick up the player, our player in red tries to squeeze the ball down the wall. It comes out off the side wall and back out into the middle of the court. Now, he tries to make the best possible position he can, but our player in yellow has got a terrific position here where he can play either shot anywhere. So from here, the obvious shot is a shot which goes across to here, or there is also the option for a shot which goes over to here. Now, by taking that shot, which is the, um, the cross-court drop shot, as long as the ball doesn't hit the side wall and come back out in the middle, it's most likely going to be a winner. But what happens here is if we watch our player in red, he needs to cover the forehand straight. So he does his split step. And you'll see that his body motion will actually go towards that forehand side first of all. Then he pushes off his outside foot and off he goes towards the ball. Now there's interaction here and if the shot had been any good he would have had no hope whatsoever to be able to get the ball. But it comes down to the situation of whether you believe he would have been able to retrieve this ball even though there was interaction. Now a player in yellow has done nothing wrong, he's just tried to play his shot and keep out of the way as best he can. But because um, our player in red had to cover both sides, the interaction is there. It comes down to a case of I don't believe the player in yellow's shot was good enough and I do believe that the player in red could have got the ball simply because the player in yellow didn't execute the shot well enough and didn't finish the ball short enough. The ball bounces, second bounce there. Okay, so second bounce here and that's within one lunge step of that shot there so I, I believe even though there was interaction he had ample ability or time to be able to get that ball if the ball had finished anywhere up shorter like if it had finished up here then I don't believe he would have got a let for it even though there was interaction so it purely comes down to the fact of whether or not you believe that the, the player in red would have gotten the ball in this case I would say the answer is yes let so it all happens pretty fast, but if you have clear reasons in your mind why you've made the call that you have, and you make a clear, quick, confident decision, then you'll find that refereeing becomes very easy.